Hello to you, Jeremy. Good night to all of you. So students, all of you know, we already completed Houston Breeze from your current electricity chapter. And this is our last topic. And this topic is related to the application of Houston Breeze, which is named as meter bridge or also it is named as slide wire bridge. This is a uh, very important part for your board exam for your practical purpose there is a practical in your syllabus which is named as meter bridge okay so first of all you have to know the definition of meter bridge then we will learn the principle of meter bridge then we will discuss about the working and finally we will solve some numericals related to meter bridge okay so first of all what is meter bridge you see this is the definition it is the simplest practical application of the Houston breeze and that is used for measure unknown resistance that is the application of Houston breeze practical application of Houston breeze and which is used to measure unknown resistance and it works on the principle of Houston breeze and in Houston breeze principle we learn that the balance condition so it works on the principle of Houston breeze under balance condition that means we already learned that if there are four resistances P Q R S in a Houston breeze circuit the in balance condition we can write write it P by Q P by Q that is equal to R by S this is our balance condition and this condition happens when the current I G current flowing through the galvanometer is zero current flowing through the galvanometer is zero that means the potential difference potential difference is equal between two terminal in which the galvanometer is connected okay suppose this one one resistance another resistance third one and this one fourth one and galvanometer is connected in this point so this point is v and this point is d so when uh, ig is equal to zero that means the potential difference between point b and d is equal and current doesn't flow when potential difference equal current always flows from higher potential to lower potential so uh, this is the principle on which uh, our meter bridge is working now we will see the figure uh, and uh, we will learn how to works it okay you see here we use a wire this one ac here ac is a wire of length generally one meter of length one meter that's why it is also named as a meter wire so here we use a wire wire AC of length 100 centimeter or you can write one meter and this wire is made of alloy alloys like I already told in this portion a manganine manganine Constantine, Constantine, etc. And these types of alloy has a special properties that is independent in, in likely independent of uh, temperature on resistance. Uh, resistance uh, doesn't depends on temperature. Question is why? Because for uh, avoid heating effect of current. In general, when current flowing through a circuit, the wire is heated so for heating avoid heating effect of current we use a wire which is made of alloys it may be manganese may be constantine etc okay and this wire should be uniform cross section okay so write it the cross section should be uniform uniform cross section this wire should be uniform cross section and the length of this wire 100 centimeter or 1 meter and here uh, in between these two point a and c we use a metal strip like l shape you see this one metal strip and this one is also another metal strip like l shape and in between we also use a metal strip in generally here we use copper strip okay and here we use another copper strip to provide a interval to provide a gap which is named as at left side a b and at right side which is named as a dash b dash now uh, in this uh, gap a b we use a resistance box 
okay this is our resistance box a box where the various of resistance are is situated is placed is known as resistance box and in other side in right hand side uh, in the gap a dash b dash sorry a1 b1 we use uh, a resistance suppose s we use a resistance which is named as s this is our unknown resistance we have to measure the value of this value that is s and in between this terminal a to c we use c a cell that is you can consider a battery and there is a key okay this is our circuit for uh, knowing unknown resistance using meter bridge which is based on the principle of of balance condition of western bridge so at first you have to join this key the, the circuit will be close when the circuit will be close the current will be flowing from positive terminal of the cell to negative terminal so here current i is flowing from this circuit and we use a suitable resistance we use a desirable resistance a known resistance uh, in the resistance box then we will find out the null point using jockey you see in that in that point the from point d there is a galvanometer and therefore there is a jockey okay so uh, with the help of jockey you you have to place jockey from uh, point a to c like this way and you have to find out the null method all of you know about the null method that is the deflection of galvanometer will be zero there will be no deflection at a point and this point is known as null point uh, and the way out is suppose you are uh, touching your uh, this jockey at point uh, here so galvanometer is deflected like this way now you touch here galvanometer is deflected like this way so uh, after that you just touch from like this way then you can easily find out the deflection will be less in this direction deflection will be less and finally suppose at that point at this point the galvanometer shows no deflection that means there is no flow of current the deflection of galvanometer is perpendicular suppose this length this uh, this point is b so this length a b of length l and our total length ac that is 100 centimeters so obviously bc will be 100 minus l write it down here ab is equal to length uh, l say and therefore bc will be 100 minus l okay now there are two resistances one uh, from resistance box and our unknown resistance s but western bridge is working on the uh, resistance that is number of resistances four so here there are two another resistances you see this length a b correspond a resistance a wire having some length obviously have some resistance so this uh, a b has some resistance similarly this uh, b c value has some also resistance now we will find out the resistance across a b and the resistance across b c the resistance across a b here named as p and the resistance across b c is named as q so at first you have to write down the resistance per unit length suppose suppose sigma ohm per centimeter is the resistance resistance per unit length per unit length of where a b sorry a c sigma is the resistance per unit length so uh, the resistance for length a b obviously resistance resistance for length a b will be sigma into the length of this value a b that is sigma into l and this is named as value of p you know resistance is directly proportional to resistance of a wire is directly proportional to length of that wire here the resistance pq is equal to directly proportional to the length l 
P is directly proportional to length L. Therefore, we can write P is equal to sigma into L. Here, sigma is known as the resistance per unit length of that wire. Same way, write the resistance for length BC. That is sigma into the length of BC. That is 100 minus L. So, this value will be 100 minus L. Okay. And this is named as Q. Same way. That is you write Q directly proportional to 100 minus L. So Q will be K sorry sigma into 100 minus L. Now we will check how we will find out this value that is the unknown resistance is. So here you know uh, the meter bridge uh, working on the principle of which one is there's a balance condition so for balance condition write it down for balance condition for balance condition p by q that is equal to r by s this is our equation one suppose and here you compare this value p and q the p value that is sigma into l q that is sigma into 100 minus l so compare it so comparing these two equation we can write p by q that is equal to sigma into l and sigma into 100 minus l sigma sigma cancel out that is p by q will be l divided by 100 minus l this is our equation 2 now you see in equation 1 there is p by q equal to r by s in equation 2 there is p by q equal to l divided by 100 minus l so you can write in the place of p by q that is r by s so r by s is equal to l divided by 100 minus l and you have to find out the value of s and this is our unknown resistance so write it down here s or by r that is equal to 100 minus l divided by l therefore s equal to 100 minus l divided by l into r with the help of this equation we can easily find out the value of our unknown resistance and how can you find out the value of this uh, 100 minus l and l there is a scale here easily you can with the help of scale you can find out the value of l and when you find out the value of l you also find out the value of 100 minus l okay now suppose you have to find out the resistivity corresponding this resistance s yes. you know the general formula resistance r is equal to rho l by a so from here resistivity rho is equal to r a by l and you have to find out the resistivity for this unknown resistance so suppose this resistivity is named as rho here resistance s so here in the place of r you have to write down s area of cross section suppose a okay write it a dash and the length corresponding this resistance suppose l dash so with the help of this equation we can find out the resistivity of this unknown resistance in general form that is rho equal to r a by l here r is the resistance and here you have to find out the resistance for s the resistivity for resistance s so that's why here s and area of cross section for resistance s suppose a dash and length that suppose l dash so rho is equal to s a dash divided by l dash okay with the help of this equation you can find out the value of s and with the help of this equation you can find out the value of resistivity of this unknown resistance so this is our uh, theoretical part now uh, we will uh, solve uh, basic numericals uh, related to meter base okay let's solve it okay Chalo. So this is our sample problem related to meter bridge. Uh, see, first, uh, first of all, write down problem one. Uh, in problem one, given that this one, the potentiometer wire AB, this one, potentiometer wire AB, as shown in figure, is 40 centimeters. So write it down. Potentiometer wire length, that is uh, length AB, is equal to 40 centimeter. Uh, where should the free end of the galvanometer be connected on AB? okay so that the galvanometer may show zero deflection 
and zero deflection that means the balance condition p by q is equal to r by s all of you know about this part and here r that is 8 and s that is 12 so write it down r that is 8 and s that is 12 is equal to p by q and here p what is the value of p suppose uh, this is our uh, the potentiometer wire AB is shown in this figure of 40 centimeter where should the free end of the galvanometer is given suppose this length is L AD is L we have to place galvanometer point that is jockey point at point D okay so total value that is 40 so this value D to B that is uh, 40 minus L so in the place of P you write sigma into L and in the place of q you write sigma into 40 minus of l p directly proportional to l this is our resistance for uh, p a to d and here length is l so p directly proportional to l so from here p is equal to sigma into l similarly q directly proportional to the remaining part total length that is 40 so the remaining part d to b that is 40 minus l so this one directly proportional to 40 minus l so q is equal to sigma into 40 minus l now solve it cancel out this one is 2 this one is uh, 3 so uh, 80 2 into 40 80 minus 2l that is equal to this value is 3l so 80 is equal to 5l that is l is equal to 80 divided by 5 that means this value will be 1 3 6 16 16 centimeter so the value of L 16 centimeter and from which side from the side from point A to okay so this length AD is 60 centimeter so question is why should the free end of the galvanometer be connected where at point D and at point D that means this length is uh, 16 so 16 centimeter from left side of the meter bridge sorry meter bridge so this is our first application okay now write down our uh, second application in second application we have to find out calculate the value of x and the current drawn by the circuit here this resistance is x and also we have to find out the current current is flowing positive to negative i so that no current flows through the galvanometer we have to find out the current and under that condition when no current flowing through the galvanometer that means it is also work on the principle of balance condition so write it down so our second problem problem 2 that is p by q is equal to r by s okay and assume the resistance per unit length of the wire a b to be 0 0.01 ohm per centimeter this wire length 100 centimeter this point is 60 centimeter okay and the value given uh, resistance per unit length that is 0 0.01 so for 60 centimeter length that what what will be the resistance value write it resistance resistance for 60 centimeter which is named as p you know this one is p and this one is q how much per unit length 0 0.01 per unit length 0 0.01 into 60 centimeter length so this one will be 0 0.60 at the ohm okay and so suppose this point is d point so d to b the distance will be this one is 60 total 100 so this one will be 40 now write down the resistance for 40 centimeter which is named as q so 0 0.01 into 40 so this value will be 0 0.40 ohm this value the resistance of p that is 0 0.60 and this value that is 0 0.40 ohm so here total resistance uh, you see 0 0.60 and 0 0.40 are connected in series so total resistance total resistance that means equivalent resistance this one will be 0 0.60 plus 0 0.40 that is 1 ohm 
now at first you find out the value of x using this condition p by q is equal to r by x write it r by s is equal to p by q here r that is x and okay this value is given r but according to our problem uh, okay write it down uh, p by q that is 0 0.60 divided by 0 0.40 that is equal to x divided by this value is 4 so this value will be x equal to okay solve it 6 by 4 into 4 so this result cancel out so the value of x that is 6 according to our problem this one is r this one is s okay you see the circuit diagram r s and in uh, resistance wire this one is p and this one is q so in the place of r you write this value is given x and here unknown uh, the unknown resistance which is generally named as s this value is given 4 you have to find out the value of x and you know the value of p by q this one and use it so okay this value is 6 now you have to find out the current flowing through this circuit you see 6 and this value is 4 connected in series so 6 and 4 equivalent resistance that is 6 plus 4 10 so uh, total resistance total resistance or you may write equivalent resistance and this 2.6 plus 4 that is 10 ohm now see this value 10 ohm and this value 1 ohm are connected in parallel so the total effective resistance write it down you can take a screenshot okay the total effective resistance total effective resistance r equivalent that is you know the formula r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 here r1 suppose this value the addition of 6 plus 4 that is 10 r2 that is the addition of p and q already calculated this one 1 divided by 10 plus 1 that is 11 so this value is 10 by 11 okay now you know the value of voltage you can easily find out the value of current this voltage value is 5 so current v equal to ri therefore i is equal to v by r v is given 5 and r that is 10 by 11 so this value will be upper side that is 55 divided by 10 so this value will be 5.5 ampere okay important problem students so in this way we can find out the value of current and using balancing condition we can find out the value of x okay now see problem 3 see an unknown resistance x is placed in the left gap and a known resistance of 60 ohm is placed in the right gap okay at first write down so first case problem 3 unknown resistance x is placed in the left gap in the left side unknown resistance x and 60 ohm resistance is placed in the right side this one is 60 this one is x uh, and place x and the right gap the null point is obtained at 40 centimeter from the left end here this is suppose uh, length of the wire a b null point obtained at this point j and this value is 40 okay 40 centimeter and you have to find out unknown resistance that means you have to find out the value of x very simple total length 100 centimeter this value 40 so this length will be 60 centimeter this length correspond to resistance p this length correspond to resistance q so p directly proportional to 40 so p is equal to sigma into 40 same way q directly proportional to 100 minus l so this value is 100 this one is 40 100 minus l that means 60 60 that is q is equal to sigma into 60 now balance condition p by q the na that is equal to r by s so p that is sigma into 40 q that is sigma into 60 now oh, you say the value of r which one r this one r and this one is according to our problem so r that is x 
which we have to find out and yes this value is given 60 sigma sigma cancel out 60 60 cancel out that is x equal to 40 ohm okay so this is our answer the unknown resistance x that is equal to 40 ohm in this way we can solve a uh, meter bridge problem students uh, you go back to your exercise book and solve it if there is any problem tell me today i'm ending here so finally our current electricity chapter completed in next class we'll start another chapter this is chapter number four magnetic effect of current still then bye bye